Hey guys, coming to you live for another episode of The Process Server. Uh, today's episode, we have a guy that um, gets stopped and the officer's gonna write him a ticket. I think the officer in this case was a little too nice. He was kind of asking him things that I probably wouldn't have asked the officer, or as an officer wouldn't have asked the, the person. But this guy thinks he knows the law, thinks he doesn't need to have tags, um, kind of the standard sovereign citizen MO that we see in a lot of different you know, videos that we share. So make sure to take a look at it. Um, I hope you find it comical and we'll see you after the episode. Hey, sir. Yeah, so it's open for expired registration. Yeah, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have registration. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. You know, if your vehicle's, I'm not telling your vehicle, but you know, if your vehicle's not registered over six months, can get towed? Yeah, you know, I don't uh, use registration or license when I travel. Okay, why is that? Because I'm not a United States citizen. So what are you? I'm a state national. Okay, so you have a driver's license? No, I use a passport when I travel. You have a passport? Yeah, I got a passport. Okay. Would you like to see it? Please. Here you go. Do you reside in California? No. Who's the vehicle registered to? Uh, well, I own a vehicle. I have uh, my MCO right here. It's not registered to the state. Do you plan on registering it? No, I, I let the registration expire. Yeah, I so then should I get your vehicle? Well, no, I don't think that that's reasonable. It's legal. Put a vehicle, yeah, but it's not lawful. I'm not, gonna, I'm not operating in commerce. I'm not, I'm not operating commerce. You guys have the, the authority to regulate commerce, right? Yeah, all right, whatever. I, well, I, what do you mean whatever? What do you mean whatever? I don't understand all that stuff, so I see where this is going. So anyway, the vehicle code in California states that if you're going to drive a vehicle in California, phone this, is, this, is, this, this is an automobile, not a motor vehicle. By definition of the California vehicle code I got it right here, okay. I'm not operating in e-commerce. So okay. there's no reason for you to regulate me. Okay. All right, got That's it. all. No worries. But I do have private insurance. I'm not driving out here. But see, traveling. Uh, no, it's private. Private. In other words, he doesn't have insurance. But, you know, I, I, I communicate. I've communicated with the, the authorities, and they know who I am. Who's that? Who are the authorities? Well, the, you are an authority person. Well, the, the Barbara Rooney. I've talked to her. She has an injunction for me. So I mean, I have. I have my. my I have a name decree, so I'm not even. Uh, you guys administer the estates of the dead, okay? You, that's why you have. That's, that's you, police, policy enforcers for the United States Corporation. That's why you guys are police and not sheriff. So you have codes, statutes, regulations, not to enforce. But I'm not a person in, in commerce right now, and so that's. that's well, this guy's definitely in the Bears Law Branch of uh, the Sovereign Citizen. You know, it is he group. That's all. That's all. Sure this is clear, I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate you. Thank you. So I normally issue fix it tickets for this. How does this work with you? Creation to fix it ticket. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not obligated to have registration if I'm not operating in commerce. Right, but so, I'm obligated to write a fix a ticket for your vehicle. I mean, if, if you want to write me or hand me a ticket, I, I mean, I'll rescind it and I'll rescission it. Okay, that's I mean, I, I don't think it's it's worth your time. Probably not, but I gotta do something. All right, well, I mean, I was about to get I'm in asking. and out. I'd that, rather I'd rather just talk with you about this and keep it civil and we don't have I'm to... Asking. We don't have to do this. I mean, aren't you curious as to, you know, this whole process? Not really. No. Well, I went to the I state. Mean, I, would. I went to the State Department, but and you I have a passport. So you yeah. must, you live in the United States. So you have to believe in some laws, right? Well, sure, I believe in law. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a difference between law and policy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, when I'm when I'm policy. when I'm traveling around, I mean, you like you, you took an oath when you're when you become a police officer, right? right? Like a to policy. defend the Constitution, right? And right. I, yeah. And I served twenty years in the Marine Corps. Oh, all right. So you should know that part of the, the Declaration of Independence, which is what the Constitution is constituting, right? We're moving right. forward. It talks about liberty, right? Yep. And so you're taking an oath to defend the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence. Liberty means. Liberty means the, the right of locomotion, okay? Right. That's right out of Black's Fourth Dictionary. Okay. So I have the right to move about, and it also is my, my free speech. How can I go and have free speech and assemble and have my constitutional right if I have to have a, a license to move around? That right there is against my rights. I mean, this is a document from... Yeah, but this is... It's still... It's, it's pertaining to the fact that people have... Uh, rescinded their contracts with the, the federal government, and they're moving out. And it says, "Look, you know, your law enforcement may be unaware of this, right?" Free to go. I don't want to have you any longer, so that it turns into a detention because I can only have you stop for so long. I appreciate. You can it. continue talking, but just so you know, you're free to go. I appreciate yeah. your help. So Thank now, if you talk, you know you're not. I'm not holding you here, and you can. Got it, got it. Well, I'd love to continue no, talking never, with you. I've, I mean. You know, I've, this is just one. This is just one example. Sovereign oh, sovereign citizens are that's are idiots. And that's idiots. You can't first. be you can't be sovereign and a citizen at the same time. No, because it's an oxymoron. Well, it's an oxymoron. A sovereign is someone who's you know uh, their own king, right? Just drive safe. I'm impressed you have travel it. safe. Driving travel. driving is the commercial term. See, this is how they get us with diction, right? If you say driving, then suddenly you're in a motor vehicle, right? And that's a commercial term. And so, I mean, and well, and I can walk you through it. It's real. It's really quite simple. I had time, I would do it. <laughs> All right. You took the time out enough. You have to learn something. Well, and you know, it goes a lot deeper than that, you know, yeah, I mean, uh, but yeah, I believe it, it does. You know, yeah, we I, all have our things. Well, if you have a card, I'd be happy to send you information about what this process, I think there are a lot more people are going to be 
you're going to be pulling over a lot more people and seeing a lot more of this. So. Well, in my eight years, this is the first. I pulled well, over. Check this citizens. out. You think that's cool? But this I knew is right a, away. I'm like, this isn't sovereign. Citizen. This is a this decree is from the judge, right? Right. And I've changed my name from all caps, right, right. to a proper stylis stylization. Okay. Okay. And now this has to do with when you're born, they create a trust in your all caps name right and then they basically trick everybody or we all assume that as our identity that's why every government paper you've ever had or any bills that come to your house they're all in your all caps name but that's not you you're actually this name right and the reason why you can't give me a ticket except for something in my all caps name is because at the highest levels you guys are administering the estates and the trusts of everybody Check it out. Wow. And when you change your name, right. I'm out of the system now. I'm no longer. I can no longer be administered by the policy enforcers. Yeah. Because it's all crazy. the public is the dead. I'm it's, gonna check it out. It's it's quite fascinating. Anyway. Right. Have a good night. Have a wonderful day. I'm gonna get some. Uh, Thanks some for your cooperation. Well, I, I your your guys do a really dangerous job, and I really appreciate yeah. everything you do. With the way that like the that. nation's going right now, I mean. Uh, all right, brother. I appreciate you so much. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Just so I'm within the policy, it's a verbal warning, but you're not detained, but just verbal warning. Thank you. So what was your name? Pleasure to deal with. If you ask, I give it to you. Now. Thank you. Well, and I think what's happening right now is we're going back to a republic, right? That's why all this craziness is happening. We're headed to some pretty drastic changes. I think myself. everyone's feeling that. Yeah, so something. something's got to break. Be safe. Thank you, my friend. Appreciate it. Yep. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So, uh, hold on. Uh, I didn't really get to watch it all the way through. Let's see. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, as you can tell, again, uh, these guys just think that they can do whatever they want in the law. And so, I almost wish there was a sovereign citizen law book because I would love to read it. And if I could, I would share it with you guys and we would go through it case by case, step by step. But unfortunately, I don't know if that even exists, if it's just made up in their mind. So, it's funny, the other day I was actually out doing some process serving and I was at the home almost where I ran across the last sovereign citizen that I met in person. And I really wanted to stop and just see if I could get an interview with him, but didn't next time though, because I think that would be awesome. So guys, I hope you're enjoying the content. Um, continue to like, subscribe, share with your friends. And if there's anything that we can do to bring more entertainment value to you or other subject lines that we should cover, you know, hit us a comment, let us know. And as always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay alive, stay vigilant, and we'll see you next time.